This is SDR News and Geekazine.com's coverage of Microsoft Management Summit brought to you by HP. Hi, this is Andy McCaskey from SDR News. We're here in our continuing uh, set of interviews from the Microsoft Management Summit in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, at Mandalay Bay. I want to welcome Travis Newton. And uh, Travis, you are the HP Product Marketing Manager for Departmental Private Cloud. That is correct. Okay, so the first question I would have, this qualifying word, departmental private cloud, as opposed to private cloud, what's the difference? Well, the HP departmental private cloud is actually a reference architecture that is consists of two Hyper-V nodes, and it includes an HP converged infrastructure that is two DL360E servers, Gen 8s, one P2000 SAS shared storage unit, and two HP 2910 networking switches. Uh, for the management aspect of this, we have Windows Server 2012, mm -hmm. uh, Insight Management, as well as Microsoft System Center. For the departmental aspect, for your question, it is, uh, it's basically geared toward the mid-sized businesses, as well as uh, regional offices or branch offices. Mm -hmm. Hence so, the name, departmental. So it's, it's set up on a fixed set of hardware and then you vary the number of virtual machines as you scale it? Correct, correct. Um, currently, the infrastructure can handle 20 virtual machines. So mm -hmm. if you need 20 VMs, you can set it up to have 20 VMs. If you mm -hmm. need less, you can, you can use less. So, so what type of customer is this really a, a, a good match to? Uh, this would be a perfect match for any customer that has an IT environment of uh, 50 to 500 users. A uh, great example, um, and I'll give you two uh, examples here, would be, let's say, a local regional bank that has a, uh, you know, just a few offices. They, they could utilize this solution uh, for it to either virtualize a machine or deploy a private cloud. Mm -hmm. Or we could, another example would be a, let's say, a larger company that has various um, branch offices. I won't use any particular names, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. let's say a restaurant has 2,400. Fast food restaurant, fast food, perhaps. Perhaps <laughs> has 2,400 uh, small re other restaurants. Yes. So this particular uh, solution can go in each and every restaurant to help them maximize their uh, efforts. So what, what are the business benefits that a, a, a customer is seeking by implementing this departmental? private cloud? Well, again, I'm going to give you two aspects to your, uh, to your question. Uh, if they build a virtualized infrastructure, they can reduce the cost of their IT services, mm -hmm. they can improve workload availability, efficiency, and flexibility, and they can do maintenance on the physical infrastructure without any application downtime. Now, if they deploy a private cloud, what, they can, what it does, it removes the need to customize each and every uh, IT service. Mm -hmm. It enables the application owners to have control over when they want to deploy services. And last but not least, it also helps reduce IT operating expenses. Right, and, and uh, there are a number of public cloud offerings and it's so easy to stand up an instance and begin to implement something, but uh, this having it private gives you several advantages as you, as you indicated there. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, um, why would you particularly choose an HP solution as opposed to some competitor? Well, you would choose an HP solution because what HP is doing is they're blending HP and Microsoft best practices and technologies to offer this solution to our end users so they can quickly deploy either a virtualized environment or a private cloud at a competitive price point. Mm -hmm. And, and so the, the, the price point, is that the primary advantage, business advantage that's, uh, that's gained? Well, that is one of the many advantages. Uh, another advantage would, would definitely be the, the nucleus, uh, the management nucleus, excuse me, of having inside management, Windows Server 2012 or Microsoft System Center. Of course, using the HP servers, such as the DL360Es, mm -hmm. uh, HP is definitely one of the, the leaders in, in uh, server technology. So cost, yes, is definitely a benefit, but also the management nucleus as well as the hardware itself uh, provides many benefits okay. as well. So what's the crossover point when you make a decision between one management approach versus another? Uh, it it de definitely depends on how many HP departmental clouds you plan on deploying. For instance, uh, let's go back to our previous example of the the local bank, um, if they just have 
one cluster, then they would just need to use Windows Server 2012. Whereas the fast food restaurant that has 2,400 stores, they would definitely need to utilize Microsoft System Center uh, as their management tool. Mm -hmm. So where, where do people go to, to purchase this uh, solution? All they have to do is really easy to purchase. All they have to do is reach out to their HP reseller and their reseller will get with us. We'll send them the materials and they'll build it for them and send it to the end user. Mm -hmm. So it's, each is then individually tailored to their particular business. Then. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So in general, you've got a real long URL. Can, from, from memory, can you recall that? Uh, the URL, if people want, want to get more information, is uh, hp.com uh, backslash solutions backslash Microsoft backslash departmental private cloud. Okay, so it's just the last word that's really long. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's so easy to remember. Travis, thanks very much for joining us. Oh, uh, no problem. What else are you doing here for the rest of the conference? Uh, for the rest of the conference, I'm just here to... Uh, be an advocate for HP in, in all ways, especially for the HP Departmental Private Cloud, and basically just get the word out that we have this solution and it's available to our customers. Excellent. Okay, thanks very much for joining us, and thanks to you for joining us here. We'll be having more interviews uh, throughout the day here at the Microsoft Management Conference.